Hey guys, what's up? I want to show you this huge eBay score of cars. I'm going to separate them out for you guys, but uh, got this on eBay. It was 164, I think. I can't remember. Uh, about $150 shipping. Hey. Alright, so I uh, opened this box up last night. Just got back in town and I did a little research on these and this one looks like an off now. And then this one is actually pretty awesome here, this, this Mugen. Um, I think this is an MBX5 or MBX6, but it's definitely tricked out. It has like the aluminum plates here, support plates. Even the chassis uh, plate, it's made by BCE Racing. And I noticed it had a racing clutch in it too. Four, uh, four shoe racing, racing clutch. So I'm going to clean these up and then take a look at this thing. It's an X-Ray Micro Nitro. A 1 18th scale. But yeah, I'm going to take these all and clean them up first. But I might open this box up and separate all the stuff that came with it. But it was $150 shipping. I don't know if I said that already. But So about 300 and something. I think I spent about 330 shipped. But uh, let me show all the stuff that came with it. A couple. I might go this way. So a couple of JRC remotes. This is the older style, the FM style, not the newer 2.4 gig stuff. But uh, I'll get it going. Yeah, I think this guy was a serious racer. Just by looking at the cars and the customization of it and the fact that that car has a transponder on it. Um, chargers. Electric starts. Batteries. Hump packs. Servo parts. Receivers. You'll open the stuff. Plastics. And I have almost tripping on stuff. Some random screws. Some engine parts here. Igniters. It's funny, though, actually, I just bought one of these, too, so I'll get that thing to work, and I'll take the other one back. Um, yeah, the cool ones with the battery. It tells you what, what, where the charge is at. And uh, oils, bottle, tools, obviously the jump starters. Kind of a crazy deal, I think, you know? Two cars, so. All right, I'm going to get all this organized in boxes, bags, and uh, I'm going to clean these up. I forgot to mention that all these engines are, are locked up. I don't think they're seized because the guy had effort run on engine oil and he obviously was a racer and knew what he was doing. So, yep, they're all locked up. So I gotta figure that out. I'm sure it's just gummed up in there, but all right. So I'm gonna get this uh, clean. I'm gonna use a little of this uh, O'Reilly degreaser. I've used this on my engines, car engines, and it works great. It's really toxic though. Um, I'm gonna take the carbs off. And I'll put some, something over there to prevent water from going in there. Or to mean, uh, put a cap on there. <laughs> yeah, one thing I noticed, the guy both had Ofna 28 engines made by Force. It's weird, it's Ofna actually had Pico engines too for a while, so... Like, I have an Ofna Pico. But, uh, yeah, but look at the exhaust pipes. I mean, I looked online, this thing was probably about... I think it was like 80 bucks. They still sell them too, the JP3 pipe from Jammin. Products. And then this is a RB pipe. That's probably really expensive. It's kind of dented though. I can get that popped out maybe. Alright, so I'm first gonna hit up my air compressor. And then I come back with a degreaser. Alright, so I was gonna spray them down, but then I can't do this one. It's not water sealed. You can see the frequency crystal right there and the switch, so um, I'm probably gonna do this one individually. But I'm actually going to go through each car and, you know, go through the process I have to do to make them... Like, each car has different issues, like servo issue and obviously the engines are locked up, but... I get some degrees around these things. It's a, a petroleum difference and it sounds really gnarly. That's my first can. Um, I'm gonna go back with a second can and get all the stuff I missed in the first one. But I'll 
don't see a huge difference already. Yeah, this stuff's gnarly, the engine stuff. I mean, it's feel, it smells very much like a, you can, you can smell the petroleum in it. That's why it works so good. Versus like the foaming stuff. And also it's good for the plastic too, obviously, you know, plastic is actually petroleum based. All right, that's actually why they have you spray WD-40, like in all those other videos online. The petroleum distillate. All right, that's just with the air compressor and the degreaser. Looking pretty good, so I spent probably about an hour and a half with my 60-gallon uh, compressor, if you can see it over there, with uh, blown it out, but the compressor got pretty hot, so I stopped. Um, yeah, I was running for about an hour, hour and a half straight. But yeah, I mean, just the compressor, like, gets all the dirt off you know now i'm going to come back and spray down with some silicone and then um uh i'll go individually like when i restore these things get them going again but this one has a locked carburetor and a locked engine this one the carburetor is free but i'm gonna spray some uh, penetrant down inside the glow plug hole and the head and in the carburetor too so i can get some uh you know hopefully break up some of that gum So now I'm going to spray it down with some PB Blaster silicone. It's going to hopefully shine up the plastic. Then we'll coat. Alright, it's going to let these soak overnight. I'm probably going to bummer back off my air compressor with the excess silicone. They're looking pretty good. This will hopefully uh, bite into some of that rust too, a little bit on the other one. But I might replace some of this with just stainless. So, looking pretty good. I'm kind of wondering what pipe is better though, that JP3 exhaust pipe or this RB. Yeah, I don't like the this this uh, square. I mean, I think it's better when it's a transition like that. So, all right. Wow, that car right looks super dirty. I'm gonna close that. Well, I guess I can't, but try to get some, try to get as much of that dirt as I can out of there. I don't want that to go inside the engine. Bad air filter, man. Okay. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Um, in my next videos, for these car car project, I'm going to be doing, uh, getting the individual cars to work. Like, what's wrong with them, I get them to work. But in the meantime, when I took the glow plug out, I'm going to put a little of this PUB blaster in, in the cylinder. Let it soak, maybe that'll help break it up. But I'm just probably going to take the engines apart anyways and powder coat them like I did in the other videos. And um, powder coat them and break them free or ultrasonic clean them, take them apart. Let these things soak. Yeah, because this car was totally locked up. Alright, cool. Good deal, I think.